This Sunday, we'll be celebrating a feast in honor of an event in the life of Jesus, the baptism of the Lord. Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, and I thought that as we get ready to celebrate that feast, we might spend a little time reflecting on that event in Jesus' life and in ours. All four Gospels tell us about Jesus' baptism, and here's how Mark described it. It happened in those days that Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized in the Jordan by John. On coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens being torn open and the Spirit, like a dove, descending upon him. And a voice came from the heavens, You are my beloved Son. With you I am well pleased. John the Baptist prepared people to see the Messiah by pouring water over them in a ritual cleansing. This really didn't remove their sins. Only Jesus can do that. But this was a way that people could symbolize their desire to have their sins washed away and to start to live a new life without sin. Have you ever wondered why Jesus, who was sinless, went through this baptism? This is another part of our Christmas mystery, another way that Jesus showed he wanted to be close to us and to identify with us. Early church writers said that the water didn't wash Jesus clean of sin, but that Jesus gave to the water the power to remove sin. That's what happens in the sacrament of baptism. But something else also happens, the same thing that happened to Jesus when he came out of the water. As the Father sent the Holy Spirit and said to Jesus, You are my beloved, with you I am well pleased, so the Father said to you. Think of that today. I am the beloved son, or I am the beloved daughter, in whom God the Father is well pleased.